Yo, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino and your man D. Hicks. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the new week. Let us know what you want to hear. 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live999wjcb. Broadcasting live from the Spuds and Stuff studio, Spuds and Stuff located on the corner of Washington and Bakey Road here in Evansville on the east side. You can give them a call at 812-402-7783 or hit them up online. You can order ahead or order your catering for delivery or in-store at 812-402-7783. And they are hiring for delivery drivers and in-store help. So you can apply online or in person and tell them, Nino sent you. Having a great day today. Got a great show lined up. Well, you got our new artist of the week this week brought to you by Loud Berry's Clothing. New artist of the week is Big Coop from Evansville about to make it off this music. Make it off this music. That's a hot song, man. (laughs) That's the joint right now. Make it off this music. Yeah, most definitely. You can check out the the interview coming up with him in a little while. We got a great show lined up for you as well. And if you are an independent artist or entrepreneur, you would like to get your music or business some exposure here on the Urban Revolution Radio Show with your boy Nino and your man D. Hicks. All you have to do is hit us up on our email at ninoincognito at gmail.com with a brief description of your business venture and a clean mp3 version of your music and if it's on point we'll show it as much love as humanly possible and you can be our next independent artist or entrepreneur of the week just like big coop with making off this music that's a hot this, song man bro. i'm loving it i'm telling you when i man. first heard that i'm like yeah that's the joint right there we gotta play yeah. that but he got a few bangers he said man the whole album banging we gonna give it to you, you know. What I mean, we got the what's the name of uh, uh his album. and uh, that boy Max produced the whole album. Man, I'm telling you, that boy Max be putting this thing Woo! on. You know, what I mean, he got the background music for our show here too as well. You know, what I mean, so yeah, we we put Max to work. Believe, <laughs> believe that. We got a great show lined up for you. Uh, T Pain said that uh, he felt a little hurt by Jay Z's <laughs> uh, "Death of Auto Tune." Wow, track. We'll talk more about that a little bit. Plus, uh. Kim Kardashian was seen at uh, one of uh, Kim, uh, Kanye's listening parties out there at the Mercedes Benz, mm-hmm. Donda thing, yeah. wearing some kind of like black zipper face mask thing. Oh my God, it's a crazy. We'll talk about that oh, a little wow. bit more. Got a picture? Man, oh, I, I got a picture. Oh, right. <laughs> you go see that one. Plus, uh, The Rock came out in uh, opposition to those celebrities that are uh, those anti-washer celebrities have you heard about those no i haven't ashton kutcher and uh uh his wife the uh, mila kunis remember she mm-hmm. tried to stop them from going to space right 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 she right. said that they're, they're 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 in the believers that you don't have to wash every day washing up every washing day. Your, your ass yeah every day is oh, can i say ass? yeah you can say that say they wash, <laughs> say washing up is unnecessary every day and dwayne johnson says uh no, I totally disagree. And we'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Plus, the Summer Olympic events that are underrated, the most underrated and underwatched Olympic sports this summer will, that are not dominated by the U.S. We'll mm-hmm. talk more about that in a little bit. Plus, here in Evansville, a pedestrian was fatally struck by a vehicle, and we, uh, police need your help with the investigation. And the uh, Black Nurses of Evansville, distributes free supplies that's awesome at a back to school event we'll good, talk more good, about that good. a little bit got a great show lined up well yes urban revolution radio with your boy nino and your man d hicks brought to you by loud berries clothing at loudberries.com broadcasting live from the spuds and stuff studios 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live 999 WJCB. And as always, broadcasting live from the Spuds and Stuff studio, Spuds and Stuff on Washington and the Bakey, home of the Hungry Man Spud. Next time you get hungry, give them a call, tell them Nino sent you at 812-402-7783 or you can log online at spudsandstuff.com, spuds.com. 
with a Z, spudsandstuff.com. You can check out the link in our Facebook page in the description below. And they are hiring. If you need some quick money, some daily money, you got a car that needs to pay for itself. They are hiring for delivery drivers right now. $10 an hour. You get a dollar an hour extra per delivery. Plus, you get to keep all your tips. You get to make almost up $19 to $23 an hour per day. And I'm telling you, I used to drive for them for about nine years. Managed to stoke for about three. Those numbers are real. Those numbers are legit. So check them out, Spuds and Stuff. Um, uh, Washington and Bakey, they're hiring for delivery and in store. Just tell them Nino sent you. And it's time for our artist of the week this week. And in studio right now, I got my man Big Coop. What's good, Big Coop? Yeah, what it man, do? What it do? Chilling, man, man. You might recognize him from uh, laying in the cut on that boy Max's loud love video. He was the one. Well, I guess you know it's kind of hard. It, we was all sitting in the cuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was real, real loud. But he was the one deepest in the cut, I guess, if you want to say it that way. Deepest <laughs> in the cut. Big cool. What's good with you, man? Uh, you know, man. Just trying to get out there, trying to get some exposure, you know. For sure, for sure. We got the two songs that uh, uh that you sent to us right now. We got uh, uh, Tonight and Make It Off This Music. Now, I'm yes, telling you, yes, Make sir. It Off This Music, I really like that one right now because it really fits with what we're doing here at the radio right, station. Right. The independent artists of the week, you know, sign the unsigned artists, those trying to make it from the ground level. You know, I'm putting in that footwork. Right, right. I like that song. Now tonight, that's for the ladies right there. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But ladies, it is right now. It's still in this <laughs> raw form right now. So if you want to catch it, you probably have to go to our YouTube page and check out the uh, the explicit version of that one. But, you know, he's going to go back to the lab and give me a radio edited version of that one so we can get that one out to you. But we're going to get it, make it off this music. I'm going to put that in rotation. I'm going to fix that one myself. You know what I mean? I, I want to get, get that one to you. So how long you been doing the thing? Uh, man, I've been doing this uh, ever since I was like 12, 13 years old. That's uh, back in 99, if you can add up. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is about 12, 13 years old, man. Who I've been got doing you doing this. it? Uh, I originally started doing it myself. You know what I'm saying? We was all like uh, back in the day beating on the desk, making little beats, beatboxing yeah, and shit. Yeah, I remember. Freestyling. Man, that go way, way back in the day. Boy, I remember doing that too. I used to do that back in 1990, 91. Right, right. <laughs> I was trying to do the thing. You had somebody beatboxing, one banging on the table, somebody doing the harmonizing or whatever. Right, you know right, what I mean? right, right. You got the one hype man in the back like, yeah. <laughs> and then on yeah. every punchline you kick. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, usually the way it start right now. You, are you part of a crew right now? Or you solo uh, dolo. I'm, I'm, I can usually say I'm solo dolo, but uh, I'm from No Pity Squad. Y'all know who that is. Shout out to them, Nupin, R.I.P. Nupin. Yeah, right, right, right. You know they are. native. It was Ville. Uh, what high school you graduated from? What high school you go uh, to? Bossy. Bossy, man, yeah. in Bossy, yeah, yeah. My Bossy Bulldogs, my, Play my football son just graduated too. from yeah. there too, on his way to U of L. So okay. a lot of Bossy okay. in the building today. Well, you know, we represent the South Side. That's what we usually try to do. And because I mean, I think really the South Side, and even the music industry on the whole here in Evansville and the Tri-State is very underrepresented. I think yeah. a lot of artists started losing heart back in the day. They didn't think nobody was going to represent them. Look out for them. I'm on no clubs to go and rock at. No right. more radio stations won't play your music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot right. of artists think they got to go way out and go other places just to get the music heard right now. So right. that's what we're trying to get. As many artists off the ground right now is, is just trying to do the thing to reinvigorate the hip-hop here in Evansville. Yes, Have sir. you done any shows yes, lately here? Um, I, I did one uh, recently here. We had a little showcase. Uh, it was in Blairsville, Indiana. It, Blairsville, it yeah. was all right. Shout out to uh, my boy Trent Small, put it together. Right. You know, this, the sound was kind of messed up, but then, you know, he's still working. He's still getting everything together, though. But, you know, it was, uh, I ain't been on stage in a while. It was a hell of an experience, you know, got more fans, more, you know, what I'm saying notice, and, you know, let's get it. <laughs> What's, do you remember the first song you ever wrote? Uh yeah, I actually do. <laughs> What's that? What's it? What it's, is it? Uh, me and my homeboy Spud. Uh, we did this song called uh, "Get did you In say his and name Get Spud? Out." Spud. Yeah, ah, we sponsored. Shout out Spud to him, RP, ah, my dude cool. Spud. All right, what's good? Yeah, so, yeah. What was the name of it? It was called "Get In, Get Out." Right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Do you still have it? No, nah, I ain't still got that. <laughs> uh, it's probably on a, a tape uh, or a CD somewhere. Hey, if anybody <laughs> got Big Coot's first song, "Get In, Get Out," on a a CD. Uh, MP3 on the website. Let me know. Send it to I want to hear what his first song sounded like compared to what he kicking right now. Because what he got right now is hot. So I want to see how high, how fast, how how quick, and how high his his game elevated. Eight hundred you know, degrees, from baby. That, from that first from that first song to right now. Like I say, make it off this music. That's the first one that I got uh, in rotation right now. And lo and behold, we got the man himself, 
That boy Max, they even want to produce these? Yes, sir. That boy Max in the building. What's good, Max? Like them wangers. Man, I'm telling you, I'll he, I, 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 I be waiting to hear his name in every track that comes. I don't know. It's like every time somebody bring me some music here in Evansville, even in North, even when it came out with North Carolina, I'll be waiting to say, yeah, Max did the beat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Max be everywhere. He everywhere. Tell you, if, you, if you got if you want some heat. Salute to that man right there. Get up that boy, that Max. Boy he Max. got it right there. You know what I mean? He got it. So what's next for you, Big Cool? Um, got some uh, videos going right drop. Uh, got a song called uh, What Goes Up with me and Nicodemus. Shout out to him. It's a uh, real tough little song I had on that uh, damn Volume Three album. All right, y'all can go check that out. It'll be out soon. And you said you got you on? Are you on uh, YouTube or social media yes, of any a, kind? I'm on all social media platforms out there. Where uh, they find you? How they find you? You can find me on uh, uh, Spotify, iHeart, YouTube, Instagram. Just check me out, y'all. B i g c o o p. Yes, sir. B i g c o o p. Check it out, Big Coop. Straight out of Evansville, Evansville zone. We got to uh, make it off this music. I'm going to put that in rotation immediately. Then we got tonight that's coming later on and say, Max, you know, we got to get him back in the lab to kick a radio edited version of that one because it's hot, man. You know what I mean? So he got to redo that one for me real quick. I'm going to take I'm going to take care of make it off this music. I'm going to do that one right here because that one ain't too bad. But man, we got to do that. We got to get both of them in rotation. So <laughs> yes, be sir. on the lookout for Big Coop. He's in rotation on right here on Live 99. You can check out the replay of the interview and uh, the explicit version version of both make it out this music and tonight on the urban revolution radio uh podcast on youtube just check it out hey big up uh big coop thanks for coming out kicking it with us man appreciate you artists man. of appreciate the week big coop on live 99 Yo, Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino on Live 99. Let us know what you want to hear at 812-303-5018 on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live 999 WJCB. And as usual, got my man D. Hicks on the right-hand side. What's good, D? Man, I'm blessed today, man. Glad to hear. I see you got your... Uh, your new Mac uh, Money Fashion, Mac man. Money Fashion shirt, Mac on. Money Fashion shirt out of Evansville, Indiana. I like that. I like that logo. Oh uh, yeah, I might have to so give out the yeah, copy one of them, Joe. Oh right, uh, yeah, most Joe. definitely though. So right. we, we we'll tell you more about Mac Money in some upcoming shows. We're gonna keep them, but I like the shirt. That's some of the fashion that he got coming on, man. Mac Money out here in Evansville doing his thing. Uh, and if you're an independent artist or entrepreneur, just like our man Big Coop. Be cool. Artist of the week this week. And you want to get your business or music heard here on the Urban Revolution Radio Show with your boy Nino and your man D. Hicks. All you have to do is send us a clean MP3 version of your music and a brief description of your business to our email at ninoincognito at gmail.com. And if it's on point, we're showing as much love as humanly possible. You'll be our next independent artist or entrepreneur of the week. Uh, T. Payne. Um, got it a little bit in his feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. Why? But he say he admitted that he felt some type of way when Jay Z released that uh death of auto tune. Mm -hmm. So I remember that song back. In the yeah. Day. And I always thought that that was kind of a. I never really thought it was a diss at. No one diss at T Pain itself. It's just the auto tune in general for the whole industry. I think yeah, because I think it started getting a little out of control after. Right. T Everybody did then Little Wayne was using auto tune. You know, Little Baby even still uses it now. Right, on his, on right, his, right. Uh, on yes. his songs and stuff like right. that, but he doesn't use it in the way in which Jay Z was talking about it in his lyrics. Like according right. to his lyrics in uh, the Depth of Auto Tune, he said, "Y'all mm, singing too much. Get back to rap. Y'all T painting too much. You know what I mean? Whoa. But like I say, but that wasn't a diss, diss at T Pain. T -Pain they were just saying y'all copying T Pain. You know, because T Pain was one of the ones T Pain one of the ones that really took it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. He kind of brought it. He was our generation of a. Uh, was Zap? Zap, there you go, more bounce to the ounce. <laughs> With the tune that he used to have yeah, in his mouth so and all exactly. that thing. So yeah, our yeah, generation yeah. had the, the auto tune. But the way a lot of people don't realize that T Pain can actually sing in real life. Yes, he can. He doesn't use auto tune the way a lot of singers and a lot of rappers use auto tune right. in order to actually automatically tune themselves and get right now he can sing it. he actually use it he just used it to create that more robotic kind of right that sounds well, that you right right, right without you know? having to stick the tube in his mouth yeah and all that stuff but i've heard him sing the national anthem i've heard him sing church songs and i mean but his, his, his singing skills 
Doom uh, matches, right? Yeah, they do right, match. right. Uh, there was right. a thing on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm turning you on to it, man. NPR Tiny Desk Concerts. NPR Tiny Desk Concerts. Yes, T Pain was on there, and then that's when I discovered that the dude could actually sing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen him on just a couple of YouTube videos when I was like first catching on and everything. He did a couple yeah. interviews. Like when a lot of people were saying, oh no, he T-Pain really can't sing. And a lot of people just trying to copy that style. And right. You had everybody and their mama coming out doing something with an auto-tune. Right. Uh, you know, especially a lot of singing. He's like, no, I'm, you, know, I, you know, I can actually sing. That's just, the, you know, uh, it's like putting reverb Yo, or yeah. something on there. You know what I mean? Or uh, uh, decompression you know, or the gate or something. He just uses the auto-tune just to get the extra added effect but naturally he can rap and he can carry a tune say so oh uh, yes t-pain discussed in his initial reaction to the 2009 cut during a recent interview on drink champs co-host nori asked t-pain where he was at when he first heard the song and uh whether he felt like it was a targeted disc and <clears throat> t-pain said of course a wise man once said you can't knock the hustle t-pain but the, in, in the face of this y'all just like little yachty was the face of Mumble rap, <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> and I don't, and I gotta disagree with that because I think it was more. I don't think it was a uh, 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 little yeah, yachty that got thug. the mumble rap. Uh, the young thug. No, I, who was I thinking of? I was thinking of um, what's your man with the, 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 the milky young? eye with the one that, with the, the, the one eye missing with the dreads. I'm seeing his face right now. Oh, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was just talking about his daughter and that thing. Well, no, Fetty Wap, No, not bro. Fetty, not, not Fetty, not Fetty. Um, it'll, oh, it'll come to me. Right, uh, right, right. But I really... Molly Percocets. Percocets. Molly Percocets. Chasing checks. Never chasing Man, a bitch. Well, I you, don't you know, know what That dude was mumble like hell. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god. Yeah, he designer. Like, that's designer. That's designer. That's that. Boy, them was the kings of the mumble yes, rap. Boy, you yes, couldn't yes, yeah. tell me nothing what yeah. they were talking panda, about. Panda, 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 like panda, panda. Like a frog in the night. There's a song in the night. <laughs> <laughs> And T-Pain said, if I would have said effing blue Yankees are terrible, everybody would have been like, oh, you dissing Jay-Z now. Anytime Jay says something is whack, it's trash. So Jay-Z spoke about the track in a 2009 interview on Hot 97, clarifying that he was not taking a shot at T-Pain. He said, the guys who did it, did it great. T-Pain, he does great melodies. Right, so, right, right. That, exactly right. Stuff. You know what I mean? But you know, Kanye really not using it to sing. That's a difference. Right. Singers out there and a lot of uh, artists out there that actually try to cover up the fact that they can't sing by using auto tune. And that's so I mean? true. And that's what they got, you know, really got bad got right. bad with it you know so t-pain did it the best and I, and I never met myself personally i never thought that that line with you know the the um uh death of auto tune right i i, I knew people were gonna take it that way as a right. diss toward t-pain just people who wanted to start that beef you know people with the same ones who wanted to start the east coast west coast beef they were trying to start the beef between east and south north and south and all that kind of other stuff right you know, saying that the south really couldn't rap and every any any excuse you could give to try to diss you know the next generation the next right. area who was taking over rap yes you know sir I mean? so, yes sir i understand it t-pain i'm you know I, I felt a certain way when that certain when that song first came out but you know more you listen to it you Painting too much. <laughs> I mean, that's totally the you know what I mean? So you got to take it that way. But I understand why T Pain said he felt because he was and he was younger too, right? A lot younger, a lot younger you know, too. Now you know, that he's got a little older, of course he understands the lyrics exactly. You, you know, know what I mean? what Jay Z really meant. 
So, in there, right. You know, I, I took it as a compliment. Did you ever think that uh, Jay-Z was ever coming at T-Pain? If it came down between Jay-Z and T-Pain, whose side would you have been on? Would you have been side uh, Team J or Team T-Pain? Let us know, 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live999wjcb. It's Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino and your man D. Hicks, sponsored by Loud Berry's Clothing at loudberries.com. Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino on Live 99. Let us know what you want to hear. 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live 999 WJCB broadcasting live from the Spuds and Stuff Studios. Spuds and Stuff located here in Evansville's southeast side of Washington and Baggy Rose. Just give them a call at 812-402-SPUD. That's 812-402-7783. Order ahead, in-store delivery, or catering. Tell them Nino sent you. And they are veteran friendly. Don't forget to employ your veteran discounts up there. You know, you got yes, the Army sir. vet here. You got the Marine Army vet here. Vet. And we always use those veteran discounts. Always. Everywhere <laughs> I go, man, I go yet. for using that veteran discount. So Spuds and Stuff, veteran owned and operated. All you have to do is let them know that you're a vet, flash your VA card, and get you 10% discount. And as usual, you got my man D. Hicks on the right-hand side. What's good, D? Man, what's going on, partner? Is even record? It ain't even record. Say something. Check, check, check. Mic check. Yeah, it wasn't recording the last. The it wasn't last recording year. at all. Yeah, it just glitched or something, bro. I, I got the was. word. Just start over, man. Dun da da da. Goddamn technology, boss. <laughs> Great. Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nina on Live 99. Let us know what you want to hear. 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live 999 WJCB. And as usual, got my man D. Hicks on the right-hand side. What's good, D? What's happening this morning, Bo? Man, chilling, chilling. Man, had a little technical issues with your mic. Yeah, we good, good now, man. We <laughs> good now, There's Jack. a couple techno gremlins. Running around the studio a little bit. You know, ain't nothing we can't take care of. Can't stop. Can't stop the show. We're broadcasting live from the Spuds and Stuff studio. Spuds and Stuff located on the southeast side of Evansville. We pick up delivery and catering. All you have to do is give them a call at 812-402-7783. That's 402-SPUD. And get your, uh, tell them, you know, sent you to get your order in ahead of time. And if you're a veteran, you also get a 10% Military discount. All you have to do is flash a VA ID, let them know, or active duty military ID, police officer, uh, first respond ID, get an automatic 10% discount only on that at Spuds and stuff. Sponsored by Loudberries Clothing and Loudberries.com with the 420 clothing enthusiasts as well. Our artist of the week, Big, Big Coop. Coop. Man with uh, uh, Make It Off This Music. Hottest song. You can check out the interview in case you missed it uh, earlier uh, in the show today. You can check out the replay of the interview during our podcast at the Urban Revolution Radio uh, YouTube page. You can check out the podcast, like, subscribe, and share so you'll never miss an episode. You know, uh, Kanye West has been having those uh, listening, listening parties, parties at the yes, Mercedes sir. Benz. Mm -hmm. Donda Studio. <laughs> yeah, Donda Studio, bro. You know what I mean? So, And I thought it was just the one show that he was having. But, but he's been having multiple listening parties and listening sessions oh, really? out there at the studio. Remember, I, I told you they, had the, uh, they offered him the triple X entertainment. Right, right, right. I can really see them having the listening parties. If you're a true Kanye follower and a listener, 
I think it's good to see behind the scenes what really happened with the production. Oh yeah, he's, right. he's letting everybody in. Right, right. and I, mean, I think it's really though, and, and I think now it's a trend that a lot of people are gonna start doing it next. Watch, I tell you. Oh yeah, you know, the YouTube, Twitch live stream, all the live streaming stuff and behind the scenes. A lot of people want to see the behind the scenes, right, stuff, right, see how right. things are made, see how the creation is made. I know I do a lot when you come to like. Have you ever watched those like giant? Construction type vehicle shows on Discovery Channel where they show how it's been like, a while. It's been a while. Made, it's building made, made, man, I love work. watching how the trucks themselves operate, get made, get made. Them big ginormous dump trucks, yeah, with big that wheels behind, and everything. Man, wheels as big as this house. Hey, dude, bro, I've seen trucks. it before. And it's, you know, some about watching the behind the scenes of it, like you yeah. say, when you watch a masterpiece being made, watching Kanye actually work and do his thing, rapping over his own beat yeah. in real time, and dancing a little bit, and everything. Though. You know, it's, it's it's a real magical thing right. to watch, and I didn't know that it was a thing to the listening party as well. Remember when we came out uh, uh during the the Olympic of uh, the the soccer game that next day yeah. after the first listening but party, but on and, and, and the stock kept, kept, on. kept on his face. That was actually a theme that was going on at the listening party from the night before for some okay. reason. Everybody was supposed to have been wearing masks of okay. some kind that he had on the stock and cap. Kim came out with this uh. Woohoo, dude! Kim came out with this leather face, Wing. Catwoman style outfit. She was in the listening party. She a lot of people oh, didn't so a that. lot of people realized that she was there. She was there behind the scenes. Oh, and that's why they didn't realize that she was there because this is what she looked like. Man, <laughs> if only they could see Jack. If they could the see all black cat suit with the black. It looked like a real like bondage S and M. It had that theme though. Man, look, and it has the the creepy part of it. It was kind of almost like a uh, what was that Hellraiser with the he had the zippers on his eyeballs. Yes. She had like zippers over the eyeballs and the zipper over the mouth. So, wow, it made it look a look, look creepy looking. You know what I mean? But Creepy and sexy in the same, you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of told you, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, she, she, and that's why a lot of people didn't recognize and didn't know that she was actually there because she had the mask on and everything, you know. With the, right, but you know, now I'm confused a little bit too. Why? What is the girlfriend going to think? He ain't with the girlfriend no more. That right. supermodel chick. Oh, it's yeah, over that's, that's over with. That, you know, that was just a flame. I told you two weeks. Man, didn't even last that long. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even last that long. That little buzz wore off. You right, know what I mean? right, like right. I say, after, you know, especially he still got feelings. But you know, she, he still got feelings for Kim. He even talked about it at, during a listening party and everything. The, uh, saying uh, one of the songs was actually about the breakup and about his emotion. He was uh, very upset about losing his family and implied that Kim was still in love with him and all of that good stuff. Right. So he ain't let go. He ain't lost, you know, lost feeling for her in any kind of way. And I guess old girl, that's that supermodel chick, whatever, you know, she, he, he, felt, she felt it. You know what I mean? Right. Didn't want to be a part of that. Getting you know, back. Yeah. She, exactly. she had a little 15 minutes of fame. She right. got recognized. She got recognized being with Kanye you know. and moved on. And this is a, a Balenciaga bodysuit. I could say one of the same kind of one that uh, Cardi B wears. You know, she wears a lot of that Balenciaga type okay, stuff. I see you, Kim. I see you, Kim. Looking like she's straight out the Matrix. Boy, I don't know. She looks Man, like she's I see you, Kim. The Matrix or something like that. Boy, yeah, but she had the long black ponytail with the form-fitting black bodysuit. Uh, you know, fully covered in all black. I mean, no, there was really no skin showing when she put None. the mask on. When right. she took it off, she put on the black sunglasses right. and everything. But with that mask on, there was no way that you would have been able to tell that it was her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So she hated everybody. But that man, when she took and that mask off. Right. And then sometimes, though, people need their space and time apart. Yeah. Maybe I mean, that's what they needed. Yeah, bro. they got, they work. They, I, they work. And that is, is no not dealing with them. They got children together. You know what I mean? They both in the entertainment industry together. They're going to be seen in places together. I guess they working out whatever kinks that they working out. Right. You know what I mean? But like I said, she was the one that actually filed for divorce. And it exactly. was really after that, he really started going with Donald Trump and started, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Making trips to the White right. House and making all them. Crazy but she things. also went to the White House to visit Trump. Yeah, but she did it with the uh, the, with the lady that she the, freed from yeah, prison. From prison, and all right. that stuff. But it was more. It wasn't the humanitarian. Yeah, hers were more humanitarian. Kanye was just going up there saying crazy stuff. <laughs> you know I what I mean? Did, he yeah. got up in the White House and just even he had Donald Trump looking at him like, 
what is this dude talking about? Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, you right, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she and, and I think things spun a little bit, kind of like how Melania was. But that was, Melania didn't sign up to be, you know, first, the first lady, lady of the United States. She didn't all. all of that exposure in that manner. You know, what I mean that was way right. too much for her. Just having secret service everywhere, everybody all in a business doing that. You know, I don't think this is Kim really wanted that kind of be making that kind of political statement with Donald Trump. I don't really think they saw eye to eye, you know, like right. I really don't think she's a Donald Trump supporter for real. You know what I mean? No, Melania, Melania is his wife? No, uh, Kim. No, yeah, no. I, yeah, she got what she, she took advantage she got of what that. she got because, you know, Trump likes women. <laughs> and she did what she did. I wonder if he tried to grab it. <laughs> I huh. say, oh my grab it by the man. Look, look, I do whatever you want to, you live it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would put it past Donald Trump for real. Yeah, for real, man. You know? But man, you know that outfit Kim had on was, was a monster. You know, what I mean, once people found out it was actually her, they probably thought that she was just like a background, right? Just a background, singer, you know? Because you know, I would have thought that. Yeah, people were just walking around with the, you know that kind of stuff. So and she was able to walk. And that probably and, been kind of cool though, to walk around, right? She didn't amongst come a lot of different people, or anything like that. Right? So it, it wasn't like made well known. You know, you know, he didn't bring her up and say, yeah. This but that suit, Jack. Man, oh man, look at Wish that. Wish they could see that. <laughs> Grab that by that ponytail. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. So, but yeah, oh, I didn't wow. know that that was the theme of that listed party, the mask. You know, everybody was walking around with the mask. I'm trying to figure out what was the whole, what's the whole idea behind that, though. The theme was mask. Bondage. Not... Struggle. Okay. You know, it can mean that. You okay. know that thing? That, that, that's, Kanye's that's been horrible. going through a lot, bro. So I would kind of maybe lean toward bondage and the struggle that's that odd. he's been going through and things of that nature. Because this album to him is real personal because it was about his mother. Yeah, I can see him. So I can kind of see maybe see going toward it. Like that's that. what I would kind of look at that. So we'll see what it is. We're still waiting the release of Donda coming out. Uh, Kanye West still putting on the final touches. To it and everything. What well, I think it was supposed to be like September. What is it? What's the release date it was supposed Are to be? Are they moving up to September now? Is it? What was the original release? It was date? August is 10th. August 10th? Okay, so it's supposed to be day after tomorrow, August the 10th. Well, I'm tomorrow, thinking so. I don't know. Tomorrow. It's released they on change Tuesday. The day. They use the release music. So right. we'll see what it do. As the final touches uh, are uh, uh, being put on Donda, we're going to see what the final product turns out to be did you make it down to that release party that they had you know any of the release parties that they've had where you wear the mask do you know what the mask theme is all about let us know 812-303-5018 or on our facebook page facebook.com slash live 999 wjcb urban revolution radio with your boy nino on live 99 let us know what you want to hear 812-303-5018 or on our facebook page facebook.com slash live 999 wjcb broadcasting live from the spuds and stuff studios Spuds and stuff on the southeast side of evansville give them a call at 812-402-7783 or ahead for in-store catering or delivery Tell them Nino sent you. They are hiring for delivery drivers and in-store help. So if you need some daily money and some good money, make almost up to nineteen twenty dollars an hour as delivery driver. I'm yeah, telling that's you, awesome. When it comes man. to tips, starting off at ten dollars an hour, you get an extra dollar an hour for each delivery you make. Plus, you get tips. You get to keep all your tips. You know what I mean? So triple bonus with you. You get right. the regular pay tip, tip, bonus man. tech, and the tip. So holler at them if you need a job. If you need some extra money to make that car pay for itself. Hit them up over there and spuds and stuff on the east side. And if you are an independent artist or entrepreneur like my man Big Coop. Big Coop. Oh, Evansville with his uh, Gonna Make It Off This Music. He's our Artist of the Week this week. And if you would like to be our Artist of the Week or Entrepreneur of the Week and want to get your business some exposure, all you have to do is hit us up on our email at ninoincognito at gmail.com with a brief description of your business and an MP3 clean version of your music. And if it's on point, We'll show it as much love as humanly possible, just like we did. My man, Big Coop, would make it off this music. Uh, the Rock is uh, kind of distancing themselves mm-hmm. from the celebrities that's been on that uh, don't want to watch themselves every day thing. That Ashton Kutcher and uh, Mila Kunis from that that's 70s nasty, show though. and all is the latest celebrities to jump on that. I don't need to wash up every day bandwagon. You know, like I said, is that look, 
There are days when I go in Viking mode. I'm not going to lie. When I right. wake up, you know what I mean? You just, you know, stop waking up in the same clothes. You probably put to sleep in and just right. stop working and get up. But, you know, right. I'm not going to get up and go out and kick it. With people, public, you know, man, right I, mean, right. I might just get up and just, if I know I'm not, you know, going anywhere, stay around the house a little bit. I'm just about right. to do some housework or just mm -hmm. lounge around. I might not take a shower that day. You know what I mean? Just, that's, that's, that's a ready. I call but that. But you're at your crib. Right. I call that my Viking mode. You know, right. I know I'm about to be dirty funk. I'm not really about to be around nobody breathing my breath on nobody. Right. I feel like you, home. But We've at all any done point, that. you know, just on the regular, on a regular day, I do believe that you, uh, on the regular, have to wash yourself off every day right if you're capable of washing your tail you know you watch especially it. in the summertime dude but you feel me man Man, sweating dirt dust, musky pollen smog smoke you get all that in your hair uh and i just can't imagine this like purposely just not washing yourself after you've been out in public now and then you're going back in public with them same dirt dust Right. I wonder if that applies to brushing your teeth too. I wonder if they feel like they don't need to brush their teeth. I wonder if that even applies after you have sex, homie. Oh Lord, have mercy. No, make it make sense, dog. <laughs> make Man, it make sense, homie. The way in the Rod Johnson is not down with dirt is a lot of these celebrities like Jake Gyllenhaal. And oh, you gotta be kidding he's, me. Man. He's one of them. He said, meant to not bathing daily on purpose. You know what I mean? Not just Viking mode. I just don't feel like doing it. It's just right, they it's don't on purpose, feel it's but necessary. They don't feel it necessary. They will take off dirty clothes, uh, get up the next morning, and put on clean clothes on, on a, a dirty, dirty ass. body. You know what I mean? Excuse my language. <laughs> I got you heated over here. Say the jungle. It's so the Jungle Cruise star of uh, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is setting the record straight on his own grooming habits. And on Friday. The 49-year-old former wrestler responded to a fan's tweet speculating about his shower status with the commenter noting that he can't possibly be one of those stinky ones <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we would all be really heartbroken to find out otherwise. Say they needn't worry Johnson swooped in to assure the fan that he washes no less than three times a day. Yeah, I figured it because you figure Rock got to stay in shape. Right, he's working Well, he probably out. gets up, takes a shower in the morning. Then he works out, takes a shower, and then his evening said if he got meeting. Yeah, I can believe that. I can believe yeah, I yeah, can do so, that. Yeah. He said, Nope, I'm the opposite of a not washing themselves celebrity. He went on to break down his exact routine, which uh includes a cold shower when I rolled out of bed to get my day rolling, followed by like you said, a post workout mm -hmm. warm shower and a hot shower once he's back home after finishing the mm -hmm. work like I said, for the day. For you the know day, what I mean? Bro, so yeah. that, that's a that's a nice routine. Yeah. I prefer uh I prefer hot showers both times. I, I wake up with the warm because like I sleep with the air conditioning on or okay. the fan so blowing up. Warm I like up a to bit chill work. when I'm when I'm sleeping. You know what I mean? Kind of <laughs> like the you know like a, a, a the iguana or reptile. Right. You know what I mean? It give me a little chill when I sleep. You know what I mean? Kind of slow the body metabolism down and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. All but in the morning. Hit that shower. shower what bounce what up, it is, yeah. I drink a cold glass of water in the morning to jump start the inside. Okay. But then I do the hot shower in the morning. Oh, you know, to wake nice you up, you know, warm up, give me that energy and all that good stuff. You know, I absorb the energy from the hot water. That's, oh, wow. That's, that's what routine, I do. That's, that's my little routine right mm -hmm. there. So, The Rock said he does, you say he does about three times every day. He also added the scrubbing himself from head to toe. Doing those showers. He's not just getting in the water, playing no, around. Man, playing head to toe, <laughs> Splash in the water, faking like you take this. Yeah, taking a fake bath. Did you ever do that as a kid? Fake like you were taking a nah, bath when your mama my, told you to take a bath. Mama was on it, man. I can. I, I got him. I I like playing in dirt oh, as a man. kid. But you know, growing up in the projects, we had the project bathroom. You know, what I mean, and it was right. just sometimes the water would come out a little brown, little brown and you know, stuff from the like bad that. Pipes and all that. Almost so, cut though. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I was never really a uh, Bathe, taking a bath kind of kid. I hated taking baths. I always right. hated sitting in the shower and stuff like that. I prefer, prefer. Sitting up. I would take, like, I don't know if, you know, well, remember in the military, they talk yeah, the buckets, buckets, yeah, bucket, yeah, man. Bucket yeah, shower, bro. Like, I would take cups, one and pour the water over man. me, you know what I mean? And then, shower, and that's always been my routine as a right. kid. I would wet, wet water down. Lather up, lather up and take the water off. You know what off, I, mean? I just never right liked off. sitting in a bathtub. You know what I mean? It's just something about seeing that the, dirt the ring around the side oh, man and then you the get up and it seems like it just soaks right back on you and stuff <laughs> like some kind of nasty film oh i hated that film, wow man. i hated that man wow you know, so wow wow i've always been a shower yeah i prefer water, a shower i've never been a bath too. 
soak in the bathtub. Like I said, like I, I will take a shower, like because we have a hot tub at our house. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I will actually take a shower before I do the hot tub thing. Yeah, I don't for your wanna, body and everything. Right, I don't right. want to, you know, be sitting in there in that hot tub water and then getting all that dirty water. Right, and make it make sense. Water. So I take just like you go to a regular pool or go. To, I you take, take a shower, shower and then I soak my body in the in mm -hmm. the jacuzzi. You know, what right. I mean, for my little treat and the bubble baths and all that good stuff. But just sitting in dirty water like that. Like watching all that film and residue gather around the ring of the tub and all that kind of stuff. Ugh, I hated that as a kid, man. I'm telling you. So the Rock said, you know, just because they call me the Rock, don't mean I'm down with dirt. Right. <laughs> right. So he watches multiple times of the day, but I can't imagine these. Sips. You know what? What goes through your head to make you think that you don't need to wash every day? That means they've been nasty all their damn life. And I can't imagine that. This is some. I, I think this is some new. Celebrity stuff, trend. you know, this no, is a, a trend setting thing, the natural, man. trying to be right, natural, be natural and pheromones and all that kind of stuff. Man, no, no, don't get why do rich people always try to get back to nature once they rich? Don't you remember what it was like living in your car when you was broke, right? <laughs> Yeah, bro, I've been there done that. You know, that. Why you want to go back to that and pretend like you don't? Man, I used to struggle. I mean, being out on the streets, you know, mm -hmm. having to take showers at the, the homeless shelter or right, the United bro. Caring shelter. I guess, man, everywhere. people that never really had to deal with that. The Rock used to really, live out of his car. Yeah, I know it. A, I know that, man. but as a coach, you know better with his dumb ass. Man, I can't imagine. So, as I say, people, be, you know, they get rich. You know, money don't change you. Money lets you be who you really want to be because you don't really have to, you don't have to answer to nobody no more. You right. Can be. So these people getting that money and they showing just how nasty they, they really, really are. are. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine sitting next to them at the Grammys. Oh me. my God! Your deodorant wearing off. Your little oh man, could you imagine man? Leg sweat starting to permeate through the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine taking them two, three day old panties off the scene. Ah, <laughs> Can't oh, you bad, imagine? Bad though? visual, homie. Oh, man. Are you a, a, a anti bather or anti? Do you believe that you have to wash every day or you, it's unnecessary for you to wash? Every day or multiple times a day, let us know 812 303 5018 or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live 999 WJCB. Sponsored by Loudberries Clothing and Loudberries.com for the 420 clothing enthusiasts. Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino and your man D Hicks on Live 99. Let us know what you want to hear. 812 Three zero three five zero one eight, or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash live nine 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 WJCB. Big up to our artist of the week this week, Big Coop. Brought to you by uh, Loud Berry's Clothing. Big Coop is a uh, got a uh, make it off this music off in this heavy music. rotation here, only on Live ninety nine, only home of the independent artist and entrepreneur here in the tri state. And we show as much love as we possibly can, especially when the music is hot. The music is hot, I'm Jeff. telling you. So Loud Berry sponsoring the, uh, uh, our artist of the week, entrepreneur of the week segment. And if you are an independent artist or entrepreneur and you want to have your music heard, all you have to do is hit us up at ninoincognito at gmail.com with a clean MP3 version of your music or a brief description of your business and how we can help. And if it's on point, we'll show it as much love as humanly possible. Just like, man, big cool. Big cool. Out here in Evansville. Uh, some Olympics, uh, are they over with yet? Was this the last? Today's the eighth, right? Uh, yesterday was the eighth. No, today's the eighth. We're recording tomorrow. Oh, show, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, yes me. <laughs> so, yesterday was the last day of the Olympics. What was your favorite sport? I really didn't have a favorite sport. I really just tuned in just to see how really well that you was actually basketball, like, like I said, I flashed in on. Cause uh, I know you got all the channels. I got all the channels. I got anything your... you need, man. Yeah. <laughs> a door, anything you need, I got it, Jerry. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, you know, not every not every sport was dominated by America. We got right. No, we got a book kicked in track and field this got year. Man, got Are we? I mean, look, I ain't trying to be funny, man, but black folk all over the world, Jack. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. And. Them people from Great Britain, man, can run, bro. <laughs> I know, bro. Them brothers over there, man. Hey, look, they've been mad that uh, Hussein Bolt 
and uh, the other girl been been killing it the past couple of days. Ain't nobody really messing with Hussein no, no, like that. No, you know what I mean? ain't nobody messing with Hussein like that. There's a few sports though that are actually dominated that are not that's never really been dominated by the U.S. that really don't get as much exposure that I kind of actually like watching. Right, right. You no, know, I flashed a bit on that. Uh, what you ready to show right now? Ping pong. Yeah, the, I, the, I seen that. And, and in, in, in the Olympics, it's actually called table tennis. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To give it up. But, you know, ping pong. <laughs> ping pong. Olympic ping pong. You know what I mean? So, but, man, they, they are intense. Mm -hmm. Have you ever watched the yeah. moves and maneuvers and trick shots? Oh, they, they go on here. They I'm go on there. About, they spin the ball and they come around. And nothing like that. Right. Yeah, man, I feel you. I was like, man, and they hitting it. Hard. I'm right. sorry. I couldn't imagine that ball coming at me. I mean, I know the wind slows it down because it's hollow right. on the inside. But still, that ball it's, is it's swerving and man. going here and hitting here and, and bouncing. The change out. of speed on the ball itself mm -hmm. is really much. It's, it's really like, a technical sport, right? Like the slider in baseball. Well, there you, know you go. I mean? You know, how it, you it, hit it, it breaks that, speed. Bring it you know, up, and, and, speed. Course, you know yeah. and that's exactly how they do it. In the, yes, man, they do. It gets intense over mm -hmm. there. You think that ball be way over there? They come back and reaching with the. And with the behind the head kind of thing, it barely makes <laughs> over this dude. Slam! I'm like, wow. Okay, so they in it. So uh, right. China is the uh, the country to beat when it comes to ping pong. <laughs> no, no surprise That's there. That's stereotyping with the big quotation. I mean, they invented yeah, it. Real, they, 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 real. We, we the ones that call it table tennis. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> you know what I mean, like we call soccer. You know, what we call football soccer. But we call our football football. You know right, what I mean? But they, right, we, we right. the ones that actually try to change the names and stuff and try to I make it. I man. Like we invented it, dog. You know Come mean? on, man. They, they didn't stop it, dog. They done done it over there. So, right. Uh, what else we got to say? Kenya dominates the steeplechase. Wow. And leads the medal count in that sport. Kenya? Kenya. I'm it's, talking about Kenya, the, the African nation. Yes, yes. African you know what steeplechase is? Yeah, horses. You got to be kidding me, yeah, bro. Yeah, the steeplechase. They lead. You'd be surprised. <laughs> There are a whole bunch of Africans, cause yeah, man, rough, Jack. As say the U.S., the United States has absolutely dominated the Sub Olympics this uh, this year, winning a total of twenty five hundred and twenty three medals. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. has won far more medals than any other nation. But though they have celebrated athletic greatness in each of the Summer Olympics from eighteen ninety six all the way up until twenty sixteen, there are still some sports we went to U.S. is lacking. In success, which is judo, oh, judo yeah. being practiced in the uh, at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. You have the picture, you know, we was getting tossed around, tossed around. But that yeah. is another fun sport to watch. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean, the Olympic uh, contact sports, judo, karate, mm -hmm. taekwondo, right. all that kind of stuff. Watching them judo, they hitting them match hard. Yeah, they it's them not over like the TV, hill. not like in the movies, like right? Like, no, they hit the hips and everything. Wow, yeah. You on the ground, right? <laughs> You know, Olympic judo. That's a good one. My son used to take judo. Uh, what it's was good it? discipline, bro. It's, what was it? Ryu? Ryu? I forgot. Ryu something. I forgot the, the mm -hmm. actual, the, the line of judo that he took. But he used to take it over at the, uh, it was a complex over near the YMCA over there on the east side. By whatever the White Castles is and all that okay. stuff over there. Okay, they used to about. have a judo, uh, uh, a judo class over there. Uh, that my son used to take. He actually okay. did pretty good. And that and being a big, you know, big boy, he's six. He was almost six foot when he was taking that in like seventh, eighth grade. He was a big boy. And he was he was tossing them around. Wow. <laughs> but he just didn't like to do the exercises though. You know what I mean? They got you know the workout part. He was just naturally good at just because of his weight. You know what I mean? And big, you know, being a big boy, but right. he just didn't really get into it as well. He was good at it, but he just really he didn't, didn't get, get into, into it. it. You know what I mean? So right, I that was pretty it. cool. You know what I mean? What else do we have? Uh, is there a uh, steeplechase? Okay, that's not with the that's water. Not, okay, but that's what I was saying. The steeplechase is when they jump, jump over the, the hurdle. Water. Is it the water? Well, they have water out on the track. And then what they do, they have to jump over hurdles. And I think it's like a uh, so many meters that they have to run. Here go right here. Say so the steeplechase is like an obstacle course. Mm -hmm. It says run over a 9,842 foot track that has 28 ordinary barriers and seven water jumps that the war the runners must clean. Kenyan runners have won many of the medals in that event. So the last time Kenya did not have a steeplechase champion was 1980. And the last time the U.S. won a gold medal in the steeplechase was in 1952. 
<laughs> that's when we weren't allowed then, folk. <laughs> I know, right? So many of the kings and stop runners raised at a high, uh, were raised at high altitudes and are used to the strenuous running conditions. And some people speculate that Kenyans are so good at running because of their animal herding history. You know what I mean? But it's just the, the benefits of living in high altitude. You don't need as much oxygen. Your body gets used right. to not functioning with as much oxygen. They right. call it, uh, it an anaerobic workouts like that where you cut off, you know, you breathe with low oxygen, low oxygen have oxygen, the mask, mask on, and, on and everything and everything have your body right. break down, you know, other chemicals mm -hmm. in your body to try to lose weight and everything. But when you when you naturally, like Mile High Stadium in basketball, was that Utah Jazz that plays in, uh, which is Mile High Stadium in basketball? Mile High? Mile High. No, that is the Denver Nuggets. Here. Denver, Denver, Colorado? I think so, yeah. Okay. Be Mile High and uh, just think of the benefits that they have of training in those high altitudes. And when they go down to the low altitudes, their breath, Man. their oxygen lungs are wide open. You know what I mean? They, right. they, you know, they have a, a, a different advantage in that mm -hmm. way. And just like Kenyans, you know, in those high altitudes, they, they, they're bred. I don't want to see bread. Oh, this is a wrong word. They're born to, to run. You know, because that's just the, the area and the, uh, the, the and environment the that they live in. Yeah, you know, yeah, open plain areas, run, high altitudes. You know, they, their body is used to processing oxygen at a different rate. Right. Different I, can level, you know? I can see that. I can see that. You know, but if that's you why they do the low level. Woo, God, God, they, they can do the long distance run. Did you see the one with, I think, uh, the, the, what was it, the, the five, was it the 500 or the 5,000 meters? Meter race. And that the Kenyans in the end of the race was the only one standing up, walking. Well, buddy, breathing everybody hard. else was laying on the ground, breathing hard, holding their stomach, holding their lungs, holding their legs. <laughs> both the male and the female Kenyan runners were both just walking over the competition. That's like, what I'm saying, Jack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, y'all can't When you it. got it, you got it, you know baby. I mean? uh, men's soccer, a.k.a. football, is also something that we rarely yeah. Dominates in you know the weight men's soccer team is China on the was, Now I watched weightlifting this year too. Did you? Man, them Chinese bad, Jack. That's okay, okay, they took over that. I'm surprised to say the U.S. has only won four medals in weightlifting since 1972. Wow. And the first half, they said one reason why the U.S. lacks competitiveness in the sport is that there are no financial incentives for most talented U.S. weightlifters. You know what I mean? After right. Arnold Schwarzenegger really, unless you know, was really one of the last ones. Last major dudes to get mm -hmm. paid for weightlifting, but you don't really get paid for the weightlifting itself. You get paid from the endorsements. Yeah, endorsements. You know right, what I mean? Right, from right, like right. The, the, the creatine, the protein shakes, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Maybe make you some movies. But right. even, you know, they, the uh, the weightlifters, even on the Olympic team, get no financial mm -hmm. incentives whatsoever. You doing that strictly for the love to show it off and hope that you get some sponsors. After the gym, you know, right. later on down the road. So what else? Uh, kickboxing too. You say what is that? Kickboxing. Uh, no, that's actually one of that was that's that was a different. That was a, the the sports that are surprisingly not part of the Summer Olympics okay. this year. I think that was uh the kickboxing. What did you say? Cornhole Knicks, huh? Cornhole Olympic cornhole. <laughs> Man, don't laugh, man. I'm telling you, don't laugh. It's hey, dirt, if you Jeff. get enough people to tune in to watch it, say they're gonna watch it. It will be. An Olympic event, definitely. It's Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino on Live 99. Urban Revolution Radio with your boy Nino on Live 99. Let us know what you want to hear. 812-303-5018 or on our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Live 999 WJCB. Broadcasting live from the Spuds and Stuff studios. Spuds and Stuff located on the corner of Washington and Bakey Road here in Evansville or ahead online or for delivery at 812-402-7783 or on a, uh, online at spudsinstuff.com. That's spuds with a Z, spudsinstuff.com. And as usual, we got my man D. Higgs on the right-hand side. What's good with you, D? What's popping this morning, Pop? Man, chilling, chilling, man. Uh, in local news here, the police are investigating uh, a hit and run when a pedestrian was struck by a vehicle and killed a uh, night before last, I said they were called around midnight 30 to the 1000 1, North Fulton Avenue wow. block over there. It said officers arrived on the scene and located the victim laying in the middle of the street mm. with severe injuries. They say EPD said the victim was transported to the hospital by ambulance where they later passed away from the injuries. 
say the investigators of, of the police department are acting for help identifying the driver of the vehicle that struck the victim and fled the scenes. And witnesses saw a light colored passenger car traveling southbound on Fulton when it struck the victim. So the, vic the vehicle continued southbound on Fulton Avenue after hitting the victim. Still an ongoing investigation. And if anyone has any information on the vehicle or the driver of this vehicle or the, uh, the hit and run incident itself at all, you can contact detectives in the Adult Investigations Unit here in Evansville at 812-436-7979. So the victim's name and cause of death will be released by the Vandenberg County Coroner within the next couple of days. And uh, But in other more happy news, oh, yeah. I guess, uh, the Black Nurses of Evansville uh, went on the back to school drive. You know, the That's kids awesome, going back bro. to school. Yeah, back to school. Start next week. You know, my yeah. son's going back. You know, he's got to go all the way to University of Louisville. Louisville. Oh, my God. Still got to come up with the rest of his tuition for that. Oh, my goodness. Not really. But, you know, they try to help out, try to alleviate some of the pressure. Right. You know, the uh, uh, Evansville Black Nurses uh, Organization, they organized its back to school blitz on Saturday. It said over 300 backpacks were given away, along with plenty of raffle tickets for wow. gift baskets for school supplies. Snacks, bikes, helmets, all that kind of good That's stuff. Cool. Give them instead of you know getting ready to go back to school, try to help some you know parents. Kids. You know, you know, got a lot of stress. We just got through buying our youngest son a lot of his back to school stuff okay, supplies because they growing, man. I'm telling you, when they start, man, when, when they, they start go growing, the Jack, spurts, grow, don't they, man? Man, I'm telling you, you start the ankle space between like, dude, these pants just fit you a month ago. Right. That is, Stuff this far between space between his shoes and the bottom of his pants now. Right, like, oh, we right, talk right. Man, I, I donated about two full garbage bags worth of his clothes okay. this past weekend. Me and my wife went through his closet and everything. Okay, that's a good deal, man. I mean. So I said I'd rather donate them, you know, to throw right, them away. Than put them away, right? Pretty right, good, right. you know. They weren't, you know, tear, you know, weren't badly used, anything like that. So, but man, he grew fast. So I know the pressure that a lot of parents are feeling. With this back to school right. stuff, you know, with the supplies, especially the clothes, you know, all that good stuff. So it's a good thing, you know, that these nurses, the black nurses of Evansville, were doing to try to help out. Say, according to the organization, they say, uh, we try to provide resources for the whole community so that they can be informed. According to the Evansville vice president for the black nurses of Evansville, uh, Karen Shamel or Shamel, S H A N E L L. I hope I pronounced that okay. correctly in one of those ways. <laughs> hey. One of the things that this time of year is making, according to the vice president, says that sure the, the, you have to ensure that the kids are mentally and physically and uh, mentally, physically, and readily prepared to go back to school. And giving away backpacks is a big thing all over the city. So we say, hey, we're going to jump into and help out. You can never have. You know, too much help and support when it comes to this back to school. No, stuff, not at all. You know what I mean, not at all. We just we had we had to get the backpack, brand new backpack, because the other one had the shoulder strap yeah. that was ripped off just from being torn and drug and around. Right. You know, then they got the list. Oh my God, that About teacher list that they sent all oh, two pages, man, two pages long right. in small type. Dude, they got it. Man, I'm surprised they didn't ask us to bring brick and mortar to help oh, them another room, room, the room to the school. Right? Oh my God! So, but the troops, uh, they also had a, a vaccine clinic on site. There they go. For anyone who had questions about the COVID nineteen vaccine or actually wanted to receive it, you got to remember these are the black nurses. Yeah. of Evansville. So they yeah. also trying to help vaccinate people who are out there. You, they got to think they're out there in public, giving people yeah. these. You know, backpacks and people everything like that. That was, good, all that was good. Coughing all over. That was a good way to educate people on COVID. Exactly. Though. You know, right. what I mean? so if you had the opportunity, call. if you had some questions or anything, they were out there to give you the answers that you need, and then you give you the shot if okay. you really want it. I don't that know which one they were actually, uh, uh, I guess, offering. I would assume it would be the Moderna. Isn't that the one that's really being handed out? Well, I think they do a Moderna and Pfizer, right? Yeah, they do you can Moderna ask and Pfizer, one. Right? You can ask either one. I think some people even ask them for the Johnson and Johnson one, too. Why they ask you the one shot, man, without a blue Dude, I would build. dare ask for that Johnson and Johnson. Man, I don't care how much work and improvement they do on it. It's too late for me when it comes to that one. They yeah, done way too people much don't want to go get two shots and a booster. Man, already. Like, and Moderna's got the, the best thing going right now. Theirs is like 98% effective okay. right now. I, but you're still going to have to get the booster, even if you do have the Moderna shot. It's just the Moderna had everything all in one, didn't have to be stored, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they, so they, once Moderna had that, everybody couldn't just copy Moderna. They had to do it 
in a different way. That's when the two shots and the high, high Her, cooling, you right. had to keep it in the freezer Man, and they all that get kind that, of they stuff. Didn't get that. I don't know, bro. That shot still worries me. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I say, you, you have the opportunity of, you have the privilege right now of not having to be out in the public. Right. With people were broadcasting live, you know, in studios, buzz and stuff, studios mm -hmm. here, you know. So, and I know you, you got your own other underlying medical conditions yes, and everything, sir. you know. And that's what a lot of the main concern that a lot of people who weren't getting the shot or haven't gotten the shot just yet were concerned about the side effects that it might interact with the other medications, right, the other right. underlying that's what conditions I'm saying, that yeah, they might have. With Remember, you. we told that the band that dr band drummer yeah. from Offset, they, right? This doctor told him, you know, you your body can't take. The shot. He got the one shot for the first part of it, and, it and his him body out, gave him the, the Kreutz, Wurtz, whatever that right, disease right, is. Yeah. Got, no, don't take the second one. You just got it. And they told him, well, you can't tool with it if you ain't got the vaccine. That's man, messed up, we going to be out there in the people. You know, so Black Nurses of Evansville were answering the question. If you still wanted to get the shot, there's still places around here in town in the tri-state, and I'm sure in your area that are offering as much information as you possibly could want. If you're still on the fence about whether or not you want to get the shot or have any questions of whether or not i would also advise always consult your home physician your personal physician on whether or not which shot would be best for you they know your body tell them you know they know what medications you're on and all that good stuff so if you think you have any questions consult your home physician first if you don't have a personal physician i'm sure if you can just go down to the local uh, uh the local health clinic or health or department or anything like that or even just go online somebody will be able to answer your questions that, you know, try to give you some assurance on which vaccination might be best for you. Are you still on the fence about taking the vaccine? Let us know. Are you having trouble getting school supplies for the school uh, for your kids? Did you make it out to the backpack drive or do you still need some help? Let us know. We say we can point you in the right direction to try to help get you some school supplies, school clothes for your kids and in the facebook uh in the facebook comments hit the link in our description below and let us know it's urban revolution radio with your boy nino sponsored by loud berries clothing at loudberries.com yo and that will do it for another edition of urban revolution radio with your boy nino and your man d hicks on live 99 hope you had just as much fun as I did, did you do? Man, it's been a blast to be back, brother. Man, I'm glad it is. We had a great show lined up for you, great week lined up for you. Our artist of the week, Big Coop, with Make It Off This Music, going to be in heavy rotation. Uh, it's been in rotation since last week, since we got him. We got yeah. more music from him coming out, so be on the lookout for that. And if you are an independent artist or entrepreneur and you want to get your music or your business heard here on Live 99, all you have to do is hit us up on our email at ninoincognito at gmail.com with a brief description of your business and a clean mp3 version of your music and if it's on point we'll show it as much love as humanly possible just like big cool with make it off this music anything else you need to add man, man no sir you nailed it man man check back in with us same bad time same bad channel tomorrow from 8 until 10 and if you missed the interview you can Come always in. check out the podcast on our Urban Revolution Radio YouTube channel. You know, I mean, they'll just like, subscribe, and share, and be sure that you'll never miss an episode. Uh, if, I guess that will do it for today's show. <laughs> As D <Dean> walks away, <laughs> it's been a blast. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.